There's an age-old tale that bass boats and wives simply don't mix, and it gets worse the smaller the boat gets. So we've tried to solve the desperate problem for all men. How do you achieve one without sacrificing the other? We found out how. It just wasn't how we thought it would be. It's not on a standard tiny boat. It's on this little mini pontoon boat that we rigged with an all-electric outboard and modified so it would accommodate more than one fisherman at the front while everybody else who wants to lounge and relax can do so very comfortably in the back. Check it out. Look who it is. In the building. In the building. In the building. In a close up shot too. Look at that. You see the hat. Bass Brothers fishing. Ten hour drive to come hang out with us. I know. Yeah, this time Chris is about to try and leave without yeah. meeting you. I gotta pick up my kid. <laughs> we, we stalled him. I, I, I got enough of those too, man. I got one for sale. <laughs> no, I have enough, man. This is my number. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the beast, huh? Yeah, go ahead. So my guys down there in Georgia, I tell them, like I told everybody else, don't start building boats for people. It's gonna exhaust you. What did they do? They went and made a whole shop. And then they made a store. Nobody listens to me, ever. Do some serious welding. Those are some yeah, big yeah, tanks. You about to weld all day. It looks good. He's the man. Yeah, dude, it looks real good in there. You, you did that with Mig? Yeah. He Mig that, huh? It looks pro. But he actually brought it up. His, his other boat project is back there. Oh, the Harley motor? No. Oh, the coffin? The coffin. Yeah, man, he never finished that thing. No. He's got to do it, man. I called him last night so that he needed to teach you a thing or two. You need to teach him? No, he's going to teach you. <laughs> I know you pull the <laughs> You got a push pull mig? You running those bees with the push pull mig? Or? Well, he hates our welder. Which one? That titanium. Oh, I would hate that too. So, yeah. we're going to go to the new welder. But nonetheless, they've accomplished quite a bit despite very little like influence from us, kind of we wanted to give more relevancy to the shop. We just haven't had time. Every time we go down there, we spend most of our time driving. You, ladies and gentlemen in Georgia, you must have deep pockets for gas money because half the day we spent driving to places. So really, I kind of needed an eight day trip instead of a four day trip. And half of those eight days I would have spent driving. So we could have got four actual days of work. Still, with only two actual physical days of work. We got quite a bit done. We were able to film some things and get some things that we weren't able to get last time we were in Illinois due to delays and just we're able to kind of make for it up for it here and show you, show you a little bit more about electric outboards on boats like this that we're doing. The grassroots scene down here is quite big. It's, it's massive even. So it's a perfect place to just do a shop like this if you're gonna do one. There's also gonna be a physical store for us to kind of store products, ship out stuff. It's just another place, it's good. Growth is good despite what's happening now. We're gonna try and keep growing. We're, gonna, we're in this until it's over, so. Electric outboards are here to stay. It's only a matter of time before they refine batteries to the point to where efficiency is no longer a problem. They've already done it with the Spirit 1.0 and here with the 6.0, which we're gonna pair against in that pontoon boat. Electric outboards, at least at this level, are far past the infancy stages. Now to put out a true high horsepower outboard that is really relevant without a million pounds of lithium batteries in it, you know, wait and see. But for now, 
If you're on little small bodies of water like this, which exists in the majority of America, and if we're really truly being relevant, most of the world, they are now a much more viable option. It's not to replace gas outboards, but just to be another more established viable option that is not so raw and unrefined. The Spirit 1.0 is the only electric outboard I'm familiar with. It's my personal favorite. I have it for my Yak Killer, and we stuck it on this 1436 John Boat, the Weekend Warrior build that we're now testing an actual live demo for you guys. I don't know a whole lot about the 6.0 Navy personally, so we get to just show you now, because last time when we did the Pontini, the initial build, it was not tuned right, and you all visibly saw that when we were in Illinois demoing that boat. Now it's actually gained some speed, and it's got a quite a bit of torque no matter how many people are on that deck when you hit the initial motor the amount of torque sets everybody back you have to hold on one of the bigger things we're doing down here is promoting the boat we are giving away so so far despite showing you guys in constant commercials through most of my videos we only have well we have it's a lot but it's not as much as we would think i mean this boat is being given away to one of you free no strings attached, minus possibly traveling arrangements where we work something out for that. But the boat is going to be to you. That's the whole boat, all the custom stuff, that electric motor, those ridiculously expensive batteries. This is what you get. And we're going to show you a little bit more about this boat as we go through the video, but you should register for the link. It's down in the description. If you got, if you didn't register that and you just cancel yourself out of a free boat, I don't know what to tell you. But we're going to see how this boat does versus the 1236 Weekend Warrior build with a Spirit 1.0, which is one of my personal favorite motors because it's one of the only electric motors that doesn't require like 18 million pounds of batteries. It standalone only weighs like 45 pounds. It, it, it's it's a bit it's abysmal what it weighs. Check, I mean, just check out the footage for yourself. Pretty compelling stuff. Were you were you were you getting left by that thing? Sun's going away, oh. so like real. He quick. left you. Yeah, we oh. Full power. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not a chiller guy. <laughs> Dang. Oh, oh man. That oh, whole thing man. went in the water. I so did my foot. Come on. <laughs> Come on in. Alright, hold on here. Well, that has a little fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> and now I put a grill on it. I'd get rid of this garment though and put me a foot rest right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you ain't never lived till you had gas stations. If you have a little small little body of water little areas like this all over the place i would love this boat and i'll show you not just for like lounging and for lifestyles uh, finally a boat that would please the wife that's the bigger selling point you guys can actually fish up there in the front and the wife and kids can hang out in the back and actually be out of your way and not hate that like most wives and even the kids are just like they don't like bass boats and sometimes a ski and fish boat's a little rough too, but like here, the two of us are physically fishing and you know, Nick's lounging there in the back kind of driving the boat. You have to wonder for a really long time whether or not any pontoon boat out there has ever been made to be fit for bass fishing and or a ski and fish and or just something that is much easier to relax on yet still provide that fishing platform. And as far as the front deck, probably three people can fish off the front, truly. Three people, provided that you don't overweight the front, can actually just sit there and cast. One in the front, one on the side, two on the side. And also that Navy 6.0. I wish I had an additional Pontini with a 9.9 gas motor. There is no way that gas motor would be able to compete with this. It would just, this motor would leave it right off the hole and it would probably take it on the end, especially on weight. The gas motor just cannot generate enough torque at low speeds like this to make it cruise. It's just, the thing is a perfect motor for it. You could have four people on that boat going into like 30 mile an hour winds and that motor would still push you right down the water. That is how strong the motor is. The point is that you can cruise at a very quiet, very comfortable speed. This boat, I do not believe is supposed to be performance planing hull anyways. It is just meant to cruise and hang out and get to places here it is perfect for an all electric lake. It does it all for any man who has ever tried to please their wives and have them fun. This thing comes with a bimini top 
in very comfortable seats that you can lounge on like a couch. It's got cup holders. You can stick radio, stereo in there. You have room for it all. It is the perfect little rig that actually can do it all. We've been trying to do this for a long time. I had never thought for once that it would be done in a little mini pontoon boat. They're a pontoon boat, but they're not big and oafish and hard to maneuver and all the regular problems of a standard pontoon boat, even a small standard size pontoon boat. This is more like the size of a regular boat and it gives you quite a bit of stability along with it. Really want one for myself personally. A lot of things going through the pipeline. If we can get our stuff together, we can make some things truly epic coming into 2023. With a boat giveaway is just one of many things that we'll do. Yeah, it's not all peaches and roses and fun these trips. If you believe that's the life of any YouTuber or any sort of content creator, then you're, they're really good at selling you a pipe dream. But nonetheless, these are my guys, this is my crew. These are the people that God blessed me with. And at the end of the day, I wouldn't have it any other way. And the whole, the whole book caught on fire, and as soon as it went out that way, I went all the way through the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just almost fall? Like Mike Iaconelli, man. Do a little break dance on this thing. Please. <laughs> you filming me? Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. Down here dressed as A Dub Jones. We're going to be giving away. <laughs> hey guys, what I've got behind me is a completely tricked out Tiny Tune by all the boys at Tiny Boat Nation Outdoors, equipped with an e propulsion Evo electric outboard. And you could actually win this rig. Go over to tinyboatnation.net, enter the boat giveaway, and may the best man win. They're gonna be giving this thing away in January. I wish I could win it, but I can't enter. But you can, so check it out, tinyboatnation.net.